the most exciting chapter in the history of the Republican Party, is written in Philadelphia as the National Convention is called to order by Chairman Joe Martin to hear nominations. And Tom Dewey of New York is named first. So with earnestness and confidence, we ask you to nominate as the Republican candidate for the presidency, the nation's favorite son, Thomas E. Dewey of New York. Senator Taft, Ohio's favorite son, is placed in nomination. Ohio, Ohio, mother of presidents, brings to this convention its distinguished son, a great American, Senator Robert A. Taft. Then Wendell Wilkie, favorite of the gallery, is nominated. I'd say I want to place in nomination before this great independent body the name of the next president of the United States, Wendell Lewis Wilkie. When the demonstration starts, Wilkie supporters meet resistance, and police have to be called to quell a near riot. on the first three ballots. But by the sixth, it's narrowed down to Wilkie and Taft. Vandenberg has held the Michigan votes intact. Then the Michigan delegation starts the Wilkie landslide. The poll as taken in Michigan, which I am now announcing, is as follows. Hoover 1, Taft 2, Wilkie 35. Now Pennsylvania climbs aboard the rumbling Wilkie bandwagon. Mr. Chairman, Pennsylvania cast 72 votes for Wendell Wilkie. As the flood tide rolls along, Ohio concedes defeat and moves for a unanimous vote. The motion I made now, seeming to be in order but unnecessary, I renew. Ohio moves that the nomination of Wendell Wilkie be made unanimous. Are you in favor of... Making the nomination of Wendell Wilkie unanimous, kindly say aye. Aye! Undermined no, it's a vote. Almost single-handed, practically without an organization, the man who was the choice of the people triumphed. Wendell Wilkie, Republican candidate for the office of President of the United States. I'm very thankful. I'm also overwhelmed.